Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Pack the Bucky once again back with another video. And this time we are unboxing Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. This is a draft booster. This is actually uh, one out of two videos that I will make where the theme will be triome hunting. So um, I think in this set, this is where we got the first triome land cycle. Uh, and um, you know, it's this Streets of New Capenna came out earlier this year, and uh, they've completed the the uh, Triome um, land uh, cycle set. So uh, after we open this Ikoria box, then we will open up uh, a Streets of New Capenna, uh, maybe a set booster or a draft booster, whichever one I get later. Uh, but I want to go ahead and um, open up this um, booster box so that we can begin the festivities. All right, so here we go. So when I got back into Magic, um, back in, was it late 2020 or early 2021, um, Decoria was actually, I think, the first booster box that I had um, purchased uh, to sort of start uh, setting up my collection. And I actually had a really good um, experience with uh, Ikoria because I love big monsters, I love uh, uh, Godzilla and, and um, um, what do you call these, these large monsters. So I thought it was a really good set and um, now that I've been in Magic for a few years, uh, I can sort of say that okay, this is actually a, a, a sleeper sort of set. There are a couple of good cards here um, that, that uh, are, are staples like for example the Ozolith. Uh, is, is a matter staple now, but uh, for today we're going to be looking at picking up some triomes. All right, so maybe we'll do the box topper a little bit later uh, at the end, and then we'll just open these packs. So let me put that over here and let's start. Okay, so for our first, here we have a token. Put that over here. And then swap. Okay, so we have the Mythics up top, and we get a Mythos of Snapdax. Let's put that over here. Polywog Symbiote, with a common Boy Beckoner, Grim Dancer, and then the other commons over here. So I, I particularly like Kaiju type of cards, and uh, that's why I, I enjoy the set. Another thing I'm looking for here are more. Um, more mutate cards, which uh, came out also in this particular set. Uh, as I'm looking to build a a sort of mutate style commander um, using uh, Ivy from the uh, new Dominaria set. So okay, let's go through the uh, commons first. Okay, Brickled, Shred Sales. Okay. Are there any good um, comments from the set? I don't know, we'll have to see. Okay, we have a uh, showcase uh, art bull defeat. Okay. So we have a Rico Leosaur for the uncommon. Dust Fang Mentor. Okay. IV Elemental. And then for the rare. Oh, we have our first mythic, and it's a uh, uh, full extended art uh, showcase. Um, uh, uh, Nethroy Apex of Death. So it is two white, black, and green. Five five, legendary creature, cat nightmare beast. So it has mutate, where you pay four um, hybrid uh, green and white and two black. So it has Death Touch and Life Link. And it says, whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this is pretty good. Fortunately, it's not in the colors that, that I'm looking for, but good for the collection. So let's put that over here. And we have a Tranquil Code. So, so far, no, um, what do you call this? No uh, uh, Triomes yet. But anyway, we're just in the first two packs and we still have about 34 to go. Okay, so put the human soldier token there. Okay, let's do this. Oops. So we have Evolving Wilds in 
work the enemy, they can go out and buy an arrow one, of one mine. Okay, good for card draw, dead weight, Iron shard tops. Okay, here we go. For the uncommons, we have Skull Prophet. Okay, for uh, a little bit of ramp there. We have Savai Thundermane. Sanctuary Lockdown. And our first Triome. So we have the Rogren Triome. Uh, yeah, pretty good uh, pickup. The nice thing too, right, is that it also has cycle. So for example, it's, it's late game and, and you pick this up, you still have the ability to sort of cycle for another card, which is pretty good. And we get a Foil Jubilant Skybonder. Okay, let's put foil over there. Okay, so we have our first uh, Triome. Pretty good. In fact, now I think the Triumphs are, are going for a pretty good price. Uh, I think they're averaging um, upwards of uh, 10 US. So the value continues to go up for, for this card. Okay, let's put the token over here, another human soldier. Okay. So for the commons, Fangs, Ramp Through, Captain Shimmer, Snare Tactician, Starting Development. Boss Blinks, Nice Squad Commando, okay, just blazing through this. Okay, so we have a Mutate card over here, Dream Tail Heron, so it's in the colors of Ivy, which is a, a Simic. Uh, so I could definitely use this, and it's good for card draw. Okay, for the Uncommon, we have Alert Heat Bonder. Okay. We have Unbreakable Bond. Escape Protocol. Okay. And for the rare, we have Slither Wisp. So it's blue, black, black. It's a 3 2 elemental nightmare with flash. And every cast another spell that has flash, you draw a card and each one is one life. Okay, and we get a jungle house for the land. Okay, so far, pretty good. We have uh, one triumph and one uh, um, full uh, extended art showcase. Um, Mythic, which is uh, Metroid Apex of Death. So here we go, let's go with that. Anything interesting here? Nothing there. So our first uncommon Heartless Act. Reptilian Reflection. Okay. Then we have Ominous Sea. Okay, then we get our second Mythic, and we got Kinnan, Bonder Prodigy. And it's in Simic, so I could probably use this in, in the deck that I'm trying to build. Uh, just so that we can go through it, it's uh, um, green-blue for a 2-2 human druid, legendary. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. And then if you pay five Simic, Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature from among them onto the battlefield and put the rest at the bottom of your library in any random order. So, wow, okay, we get our second uh, Mythic over there. And we get a Scarred Barons. So I think uh, I had opened maybe two or three other Ikoria uh, draft boosters in the past. And I, I do believe I got maybe between three to four um, Mythics. So, this is a pretty good rate in our, within our first six packs, right? So hopefully this keeps up. Okay, so just for the commons, anything interesting over here? If not, so moving on to the uncommons. Okay, we have a full art hunt master liger, three and a white. So you can mutate it for two and white. And whenever this creature mutates, other creatures control get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of times this creature can be. Right, let's put that there. We have General's Enforcer. I actually use this in my Jarena deck, which is um, part of the commander uh, that came out with this Coria set. And those are really good set of commander uh, pre-cons, very strong. So I have this in, in, in that Jarena deck. Next we have Exuberant Wolf Bear. And for the rare, we have Cub Warden. So it's a mutate card. 3 and white 3 5 cap. Uh, it has life link. Whenever this creature mutates, create 2 1 1 white cat creature tokens with life. Okay. 
and we got the blood fill case. Alright, so moving on. Okay, so we get these uh, cards with um, the what calls these sort of cutaway tokens, um, which I actually use uh, because again, uh, I do have a lot of. Uh, uh, I actually have three pre-con commanders from C20, uh, and I, I do have a lot of these keyword type of uh, um, activities, I suppose, coming from from the card. So um, yeah, still useful. Okay, so for the commons, okay, just going through them. Anything interesting here? Go for blood. It's going to be So, moving on. You have a trumpet in Nar. Alright, so this is in Simic colors, which I will be using. So it's one green and blue for a 3-3 three, three beast creature. And then it communicates for three hybrid um, Simic. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, create a 3-3 three, 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 Next we have, oh, another mutate card, Parcel Beast, also in similar colors. This time, uh, for the mutate cost, you can um, pay one and tap. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you can put it in the battlefield. If you don't put the card in the battlefield, you can put it to your hand. Okay, so a little bit of card go over there. And we have a Valiant Rescuer. And Peruga, the Macro Sage. So it's a three and uh, hybrid. Green blue, green blue. It's a, so this is this has the companion um, mechanic, which I don't really use. Uh, but yeah, so it, it says that uh, this is a 5-4 dinosaur hippo. By the way, I do have a dinosaur deck. By the way, so your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost three for greater and land cards. So when Keruga the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, you may draw a card for each other turn with control with converted mana cost three for greater. There, and we have an island and another island. So that was a foil island. Okay. So moving on. Okay, so far we get, we have Kinnan, we have Nethroy, we have one Triome. Uh, let's see if we can pick up some more good stuff. Okay. So for the commons, anything interesting here? Uh, one of the good cards coming from the set is uh, Granite Magistrate, and so that would be a good pickup if you can get it. Okay, we have Pr Proud Wild Bonder. Nice, a showcase uh, extended art Boneyard Lurker. Alright. Lead the Stampede. Stampede. And Everquill Phoenix. So this is uh, for two red red. It's a four four phoenix with mutate of three and red. So whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token with feather with uh, one pay one sacrifice feather. Return target phoenix card from the graveyard to the battlefield. That over there, we have a foil raking claws. That over there, and a mountain. Okay. So for the first stack of cards, uh, first 12, so far is okay. Um, we have two mythics already, so we're a little bit above the curve in terms of the uh, mythics. Um, and one triome so far. Uh, let's see what more we can get. Okay, go into the commons again. Get here. Oh, sorry. Common. Okay, we have a Chittering Harvester, another Mutate card, Keen Sight Mentor, okay. Zagoth Mamba, and for the rare, we have the Voracious Great Shark, okay, and we get a Thornwood Falls. Okay, let's keep going. Again, Raking Claws, Will, Game, Serval, Pacifism, Situation Mall. Right next, we have oh, Christian Boar, Primal Empathy, 
Cunning Night Bonder. Neutralize. And Offspring's Revenge. So this is for two uh, red, white, black. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of combat on your turn, exile target red, white, or black creature card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's 1-1. One, one. Gains haste until your next turn. Okay. Let's put that over here. And we get the forest. Okay, we're coming up to the end of the first stack. Um, so far, just one Triome. Uh, Kinnan and Nethroy. I think we're doing quite well here. Um, hopefully we can continue that momentum. Okay, so I'm going to again the commons. That way over here. Okay. Oop. Oh, there. So we have uh, Splendor. Splendor Mare. Titanoth Rex. Big Beasty, a Rogrin Crystal, and the rare we have a Yorion Sky Nomad. So it's a, uh, a Bird Serpent for five for three hybrid um, white blue white blue has companion, and then when it enters the battlefield, exile any number of non-land permits you own and control. Return them. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next hand step. So what blinkers out there? And you get the swift water. I do seem to remember that in the previous uh, Ikoria <clears throat> uh, draft boosters that I had opened in the past, I did get, I think, between two to three um, triumphs. So I'm hoping that we can get the same. Okay, let's put that in here. Sorry. So, okay, going through the comments again. Start off with the Sonorous Howl Bonder, Rakdos Minache Human Warrior. We have, oh, okay, we have a Glowstone Recluse with Mutate, but it's uh, for two in grain. Um, so it's a 2 3 spider with reach. So whenever this creature mutates, put a put two 1 1 counters on it. I send it to the uh, extended art showcase. Call of Death Dweller. And we have Lurus of the Dream then for the rare slot. Okay, do we have anything good here? Okay, we have a foil essence symbiote. Put that there. And a blossoming sands for the man cycle. Okay, so we're done with the first um, stack of cards. So far I'm uh, quite happy with this. Got two mythics. Um, some good uh, um, rares. But still, just one um, trial, and uh, we're still looking for some of the other nicer uh, rares for the set. All right, so let's do this. Oops. Oh, sorry, I'm getting everything mixed up. Okay, so for the commons, just going through them quickly. Nothing interesting there. Uncommon, we have Wingspan Mentor. We have Footfall Crater, Bastion of Remembrance, okay, this is a good uh, commander staple. For the rare, we have Lava Brink Venture. So for two and white, you get a 3 3 human soldier. And when it enters battlefield, you choose odd or even. Lava Brink Venture has protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. Oh, and we get a foil Ozolive. So I think this is the most valuable card on the set, and we got a foil version of it. This is pretty cool. Check that out. So let's pick up right there. So we'll put this over here on the foil, and we get a dismal backwater. So starting off this stack with probably the most valuable card in the set in foil treatment. That's a very good card right there. I, I do use. Uh, this card in a few of my decks. Um, yeah, good pickup for us, and in terms of value, was pretty nice. Okay, so here we go. Let's go through the 
commons. There we go. Nice. So we get an archipelago for uh, the first uncommon in the showcase art. So it's a Leviathan 7 7 with mutate. It's 5 and blue blue to cast. So whenever this creature mutates, tap up to X target creatures where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Those creatures don't capture anything for the next time it taps them. Nice. Then we get a Lord Rakis. So uh, with mutate, a 2 3 Lizard Beast. When this creature mutates, turn target instant or sorcery card to your graveyard to your hand. Okay, and we get to weaponize the monsters. For the rare slot, we get a Genesis Ultimatum. Nice. Okay, and we get this one. Alright, moving on to the next pack. Other grand guy right there. So we have flame spill, flourishing fox, avian oddity. Check out that art. Certainly an oddity right there. To the rare we get a labyrinth raptor. So it's Rakdos, uh, two two nightmare dinosaur. Uh, with Benache, never a creature controlled menace becomes blocked, then you can sacrifice creature blocking it. Nice. Oh boy, we get a mutate card in full art. Uh, uh, sorry, extended art showcase foil. The full Monty right here is Badrock's Apex of Thunder. So for blue, red, white, you get a 3 3 elemental dinosaur cat with mutate. So it says flying at first strike. Whenever this creature mutates, you may cast target non card a uh, non-creature card with converted mana cost to your less from graveyard without paying its mana cost. Wow. Okay, so I think we this is a very, very good pickup for us. Not sure the value may be not as expensive as the Ozolith, but still this is a really nice card in the full monkey treatment. So let's put that over there in the cool pile. And we get the things. Pretty good pickup there. That was a good uh, pack. Here. Now let's see. Okay, so going through the comments here. Okay, we get the showcase art cloud piercer. Alright, going to the uncommons, we have a necro panther. So it's one white black, three three cat nightmare with new date. Whenever this creature mutates, return target creature cards to convert mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this nice recursion tricks. We have a Sprite Dragon. Okay. We have Monster Step. And the rare, we have Obosh, the Prey Piercer. So it's 3 black red, black red hybrid. It's a 3 5 Italian Porter with Companion. If a source you control with an odd converted mana cost to deal damage to permanent or player, it deals double that damage to a permanent or player instead. Okay, so I think that's one thing about this, this set, right? This um, sort of mechanic with the odd even sort of scheme. Uh, I've not really played that, but um, I, I know that some people do like it. Okay, and we get the wind scarred crack and the pack. Okay, so far I think we're doing pretty well. Um, have some neat looking cards. Hopefully we can do more. Okay, just going through the comments again. Interesting here. Okay, so in the draft boosters, can you get um, Godzilla or Kaiju sort of uh, cards? Hopefully, um, uh, hopefully yes. I'd, I'd love to have some more of that. Okay, we have Clash of Titans. Speaking of which, uh, Kaiju. Uh, Zenith Flare, Savai Crystal, and then for the rare slot we have a Unpredictable Cyclone. So for 3 red red, you get a, a, a enchantment. So if a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile cards from Tower Library until you exile a card that shares a card type, 
flip cycle card, you may cast the card without paying the mana cost and put exile cards at burn. Cast this way at the Bonger Library in a random order and that cycle for two. And then you get the start balance. Okay, so we're now in the middle of the second stack. So we're basically in the middle now of this uh, booster box. Um, we did get a triome earlier, uh, but we still have not gotten the second one. So I'm hoping that uh, we can still pick up a uh, two more triomes or maybe three. Even. Going through the commons again, uh, we have a migratory great horn here with new take. Put that away. <coughs> So we start off with an Indata Crystal, Swallow Hole, and a Yagata Wellspring for the rare. Okay, is this a double rare pack? Let's put that over here. Okay, we get a um, Foil Regal Leo Sword. Let's put that there. An island, and okay, we get a Insatiable. Okay. Here we go. So if you recall the C20 commanders or the, the commanders from the Korea set, um, still I would say uh, pretty strong. I, I have um, um, commander uh, what's with aside from Jirina, I also have um, Arcane Maelstrom. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name now, but it's uh, Lightning Butt. And uh, that that precon comes with um, the what you call this? The deflecting SWAT. Those free to cast um, cards. And just for just for the chase card, I got the other precon uh, where uh, you have the fierce guardianship. So now I have that too really strong cards. Anyway, going on, so move Majestic Oricorn. We have a Momentum Rumbler. Reconnaissance Mission. Okay, and for the rare, we have a Ruinous Ultimatum. Okay. And a Blood Tail Cave. I remember when this first came out, uh, there wasn't a lot of... Uh, talk so much on the pre-cons but then all of a sudden right with with the free to cast uh, cards then all of a sudden the, the interest for them just you know skyrocketed and, and, and now like those cards deadly roll like deflecting swat fierce card you did flawless maneuver really strong cards really good cards um, and honestly I would buy the commander just for those cards pretty good okay so we have cunning night bonder neutralize Reptilian Reflection, we get, oh, our fourth Mythic, we have Brokos Apex of Forever. So this is a 2 black, green, blue, 6-6 six, six Night Beast Elemental with Mutate. So it has Trampling. And when you cast Brokos in your graveyard, uh, you may cast Brokos from your graveyard using its Mutate ability, so you can repair this guy. Nice. Okay. And we get a Foil. Blazing Volley and a Swift Water Kiss. Okay. So, we get uh, anything interesting here? Now is the Showcase Art King Gil Heron. Okay, we have an Auspicious Starix. Start off at commons. We have Will of the All Hunter, Easy Prey, and Real the Everwise. It's our fifth mythic. So what does this uh, wizard do? So it's a um, one blue and red zero three human wizard. Real the Everwise gets plus one plus zero for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. But uh, this is the first time I've gotten this card, so that's nice. Nice pick up there. So it's our fifth mythic. So in terms of mythics, I think we are certainly above the curve. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting um, maybe one or two more. 
Uh, but again, I would prefer that we get the triumphs, right? Which is uh, what we're trying to chase after. Okay, here we go. So going to the commons. Okay, nothing interesting there. Suffocating Fumes, so it's a common. So we have Krill Scale Mentor. Jubilant Skybonder. Sanctuary Smasher. So the rare, oh, we have Zirda the Dawnmaker. Okay, so for one white red, white red hybrid uh, with companion, 3 3 elemental fox. Abilities you cast uh, that you activate part mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cost to less than one mana, and then you can pay one and tap it, but you can't block this turn. So this is a combo piece for short. Uh, very nice pickup, and the other play. So one of the things I liked about uh, Ikoria um, was that you know it, it also had um, a host of dinosaurs in the set, and, and I actually uh, uh, am into dinosaurs, so uh, I had made a uh, uh, dinosaur deck with several cards coming from this, this particular set. Okay, so going to the commons. Go. Oh. So we have Channeled Force to start, then Fight as One, the Zago Crystal, and for the rare we have a Umori the Collector. Right. We have a Foil Rugged Highlands, so right there, and oh, a regular Rugged Highlands, what are the chances? Okay, moving to the last... Uh, pack of this particular um, stack we did get uh, how many three mythics in this stack but no triome unfortunately so yeah hopefully we can pick that up as we had only have one so far okay going this okay commons Back for more. Mythic, mystic subduo, aura. Barrier breach, and for the rare. Oh, okay. We have a dirge bat in the um, uh, extended art. Um, yeah, and it, it's also um, mythic. So for two in black, black. Um, it, it has flash and flying. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature and opponent. A planes or creature or planeswalker and opponent control. Okay. Be good. And get the four. So let me just move this uh, stack of comments over there. So now we're moving on into the last stack of cards. Uh, the last dozen. Hopefully it's the dirty dozen. And we get the triumph that we were looking for, which so far has eluded us. Okay, the comments again. There. We have the insatiable chemo page. Charge of the Forever Beast. Okay. Escape Protocol. For the rare Mythos of Vadrock. Right. And a mountain. Moving on. Drawn. Okay. Put that aside. Savai Thunder Main. Ivy Elemental. And MD Uncommon. Rooting Moloch. Rare Titan's Nest. So it's a enchantment for one black, green, blue. Being of your upkeep, look at the top card of the library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Then you can exile a card from your graveyard, add one colorless. Spend this mana only to cast the current spell without X in its mana cost. And we get the Blood Bell case. Nice token, Dinosaur Beast. Okay. Going to the pawns. Okay, we get the Showcase Art Migratory Great Horn. 
Right. So, Boneyard Lurker. Okay, a mute, Mutate uh, um, Nightmare Beast 4-4. Uh, short Recursion. Trumpeting Gnar, this time in the Showcase Art. Alright, he gives us a Beast and Mutate it. Insight Mentor. Rare Colossification. And we got the knock. So, so far, only just one Triome. Um, but we do have five, um, five Mythics and a few pretty good um, rares. And of course, the uh, foil um, Ozolith earlier. Okay, so going to the comments again. We have the Glowstone Recluse. Okay. Dusk Fang Mentor. Horn Bash Mentor. So two mentors there. And we get a Mythos of Metroid for the rare. And we get the foiled Night Squad Commando. And an eye. Okay, we still have just but one sad. Triome, and we were looking for more, but as I mentioned, this is going to be uh, one out of two as I will be opening up a box of uh, Streets of New Capenna so that we can try and uh, get more Triomes and complete the Deathland cycle. So we have Dirt, uh, Dire Tactics, Stormwild, Capridor, Boon of the Wishgiver. And a Skycat Sky Sovereign for the um, rare slot. Okay. And a Tranquil Cove. Okay. Okay, so it's coming through there. We have a Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Ketria Crystal. Migration path. The rare. Oh, we have a, a full art Everquill Phoenix. Uh, it's not foil, but still pretty gnarly um, art there. Kind of reminds me of the art for uh, the Phoenix from um, um, X Men. And so for two red red. Um, oh yeah. So we, we already have this uh, from earlier. Put that over there and get the foil. So we are down to our last six packs. Still only one um, Triome. We have five Mythics. At least uh, we do have that. And we have a nice positive uh, foil. So let's put out the comments over here. Sonorous Powell Bonder. Sanctuary Lockdown. Avian Oddity, and we have a Kira the Orphan Guard for the rare. So it's for one hybrid white green, white green. Um, it has Vigilance. Each other creature you control that's a cat, elemental nightmare, dinosaur, or beast gets 1 1 and has Vigilance. Okay, and you get 8 points. Next up. Blender Mare, Startup Uncommons, Polywog Symbiote, Mythos of Luna for the rare. Okay. We get a forest and we have another blossom sands. Okay. Oh, sorry, the other team wander goes over there. Alright, last four packs. Quite disappointed that we only have one triome. Um, so it makes me think that my prior experience, whereby uh, I had picked up the two, three triumphs in one booster box, makes me think that that's an outlier. Okay, we have a Pouncing Short Shark to start the uncommons. A Parcel Beast. Unbreakable Bond. And a Gem Razor for the rare. Okay. And a Forest. Yeah, so I was saying maybe that the prior experience was an um, outlier. And 
and uh, in terms of mythics, we were going at a pretty good clip earlier. Now we're stuck at five. Haven't picked up a mythic yet in this particular stack. Hoping that would change. So to begin with, we have the Skull Prophet. Swallow Hole. Zagos Crystal. For the rare, we get the Quark Woods Crasher. Okay. And a Foil Migration Path. So let's put that guy here. Okay. And a Jungle Hollow. Okay, last two packs. Okay, so here we go. Huntmaster Liger. Valiant Rescuer. Ominous Seas. Rare Emergent Ultimatum. Okay. And an island. And we are down to our last pack. So, so sorry guys, we um, did not live up to the hunt on the triome. Fortunately, we got stymied with a lot of chaff. Uh, we do have some cool mythics uh, and some good rares. So hopefully we end this with a bang. With a triome, hopefully. Okay, so we'll put away the comments here. We have a pork to parrot. General Enforcer, second one of this box. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Okay, and the rare. Oh, and we get a Triome, so pretty good, yeah. So, <laughs> my, my prayers were answered, at least we got a second Triome. And we end with a, wow, okay, a Foil Yorion Sky Nomad. All right, and just for the bonus round, we have the box topper over here. Let's see what we can get with this. Okay. And it will be a Destroya Perfect Life Form, the Everpro Phoenix. Um, you get the foil uh, extended art, uh, alternate art version. So that's about it. Just to go through uh, some of our uh, pickups over here, we get two triomes. We get Five uh, mythics, um, one particularly nice looking Vatrox Apex of Thunder in the uh, full art uh, foil treatment, a Nethroi there, Kinnan, always pretty good, Rail and Rokos, and then we get a very lovely looking foil puzzle. So I think pretty good overall. Too bad I didn't get more than two triumphs, but hopefully in the next. Um, uh, uh, part of this particular series we're going to get more triumphs from Streets of Utopia. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this and see you on the next one. Bye-bye!